Hi everybody, welcome to iExambi's Legal Beat. This is Amrita, your law faculty here at iExambi. I have recently started a video series at Legal Bee exclusively for your SEBI Grade A Legal Officer exam preparation for Phase 2. I will be dealing with the descriptive section of this particular examination. Many students have queries that how we have to ace the descriptive section. I have specially made first video on this topic only with special points that what you have to keep in mind when you are writing a descriptive answer. Ask if this video may have look different different topics discuss karenge means henceforth in this series I will be discussing different topics from different subjects that you are having for descriptive section and also those who have any queries can reach out to us or if you have question pe doubt hai and you want to have points ki hai for framing a perfect answer then you can write to us in the comment section of this video also. Say bhi jis jis ka dream job hai, please don't uh, lower your energy levels right now, be very high in spirits right now because yeh hi time hai jo aapko qualify karne mein help karega is examination ko aur yeh jo sare sections hai descriptive ho in sab ko aap easy nahi le sakte kyunki these are the deciding factors mcq pattern is something which is already everybody is having idea of that but descriptive is something that new they have introduced for english we already had it but for law we didn't have it so if you are acing this section properly tackling it well you are practicing answers then definitely it will take you near to your dream job and that is what we are going to discuss in this entire series. So watch all these videos till the end and this will definitely help you out. You can note down these points, practice your answers and if you have any queries, reach out to us. Let us have a quick look on the pattern. That is once more we will have a look on that. Three descriptive questions are there, 10, 10 marks each and you are going to type it on the keyboard. So that is how you have to practice it now. Don't write it on paper and practice, practice it on keyboard only. This is what I would suggest everybody. If we look at the syllabus for phase two, we have criminal law, we have evidence, key corporate law, securities law. The first question that I'm taking for discussion today is from the law of evidence. What is presumption? Discuss various presumptions as to documents. So for this, we need to introduce in the first point of our answer some points about presumption. Isse hume start karna hoga and conclusion mein bhi hum logo ko presumptions ke baare mein ek do line at least batane honge ki how it contributes towards evidence, law of evidence. Is tarikhe se agar aap aapka answer start karenge and end karenge, definitely it will be very impressive. And then in the middle, no doubt you have to balance the prioritize we can say aapko aapke balance karna hoga aapke exam mein aapke sorry answer mein like discuss various presumptions as to documents that they have asked you so you have to put more focus on the sections that are particularly talking about the presumptions as to documents so ye aapka uh, balance hona chahiye aapke answer mein ki kaun si areas pe aapko zyada focus karna hai so uske liye aapko question ko bahut acche se padhna zaruri hai if the question is only what is presumption then you can add more description about the types of presumption and everything in very much in detail but agar presumption as to documents hai so aapko aapke word limit mein zyada priority kisko deni hai presumption as to documents remember these small small things now you can start with a small in, small introduction presumptions are the inferences what are presumptions basically when you are presuming something it is drawing inference from the uh, proceedings it can be civil also criminal also as evidence is applicable to both and this topic of presumption is for both specifically court may either presume or shall presume these are the most important terms over here ye aapko explain karne honge and if you are including the section number it is obviously it is expected descriptive answers mein ye sab expected hota hai mcqs mein aapko numbers section numbers itna nahi poochha jata but yahan pe aapko likhna chahiye and what is the meaning of that? It is going to establish the existence or non-existence of a certain fact. So logically, since we know that evidence is lex for I, it is going to tell the courts that how you have to handle a particular case. It, it defines the law of the courts in action. This is what is lex for I. So isko bhi aap yaha pe connect kar sakte ho lex for I ke saath. Then you can come to presumption ke point pe, that the presumption may, may be either presumption in fact or presumption in law. So what is presumption on fact? What is presumption in law? Like that you have to start defining further. 
what are rebutable presumptions what are irrebutable presumptions so this is very very important after giving the meaning the kinds of presumptions then in presumption of fact also known as natural presumption i would suggest give examples also you can frame your own examples also first point defining presumption on fact or natural presumption it's arising out of from the uh, general state of affairs that are existing in and around us so ye aise presumptions hote hain jisme court ko kafi discretion hota hai that is what is equivalent to may presume ye aapko dhyan mein rakhna bahut zaruri hai kafi students yahan pe confuse ho jate hain presumption of law or the artificial presumption is where the law comes into picture that is equivalent to shall presume the discretion of the court becomes less and law directs the court that you have to presume this until and unless it is rebutted rebutted means it is refuted or contested by a contrasting proof presumption of fact may proof lena hai ya nahi lena hai that is the discretion of the court court will decide if needed then it may call for proof if not then it will not it will directly go ahead with the presumption but in case of presumption of law the court will be directed by the law that what has to be presumed and if there is a rebuttal if there is contradicting proof presented by the opposite party then that can be taken and that is what is artificial presumption also known as presumption in law then we come to the third category mixed presumptions what are mixed presumptions mixed presumptions are a combination of both fact and law this is a development that has come with time because kuch kuch some conditions aisi hoti hai jahan pe mixed presumption ho sakta hai so first you have to decide first you have to define these three categories and then you can go ahead with distinguishing between presumption of fact and law agar aapka question wholly sirf presumptions ke bare mein hai जैसे मैंने आपसे स्टार्टिंग में ही कहा इफ योर क्वेश्चन इज ओनली रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टू वॉट आर प्रेजम्शन देर इज नो मैंशन अबाउट स्पेसिफिकली प्रेजम्शन इज टू डॉक्यूमेंट्स देन यू गेट मोर स्कोप टू इलेबोरेट तो वहां पे आप डिस्टिंग्विशिंग पे ज्यादा ध्यान दे सकते हैं मे प्रिज्यूम शाल प्रिज्यूम वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म्स सेक्शन फोर का रेफरेंस देके आपको इनको डिफाइन करना होगा एंड कंक्लूसिव प्रूफ now you will say conclusive proof conclusive proof is also arising out of a legal presumption that exists yani ki law ek presumption hold karta hai in particular circumstances and this is the strongest of all the presumptions remember that conclusive proof is a presumption which is the strongest of all and is pe koi proof nahi liya ja sakta that is the court cannot call for proof for contesting that fact best example of that will be law that is itc has set it a child below 18 uh, the child below 7 years of age cannot be said to commit an offence he is given an exemption and law is protecting him there so is point pe established fact par koi proof lene ki zarurat nahi hai yahan pe and if suppose other party is giving proof also then also court is having the duty that it shall not accept proof on that point section 80 of 82 of ipc says that so it is a conclusive proof here similar presumptions we are having in evidence act also we have in favor of child who is illegitimate ऐसे कई सारे आपको इंस्टेंसेस मिल जाएंगे सो यू कैन गिव दीज एग्जांपल्स अलोंग दीज सब हेडिंग्स ये मैंने आपको सब हेडिंग्स दिए हैं यहाँ पे यू कैन इलेबोरेट इट मीनिंग एग्जांपल्स में आप वो सब इंक्लूड करके देन नेक्स्ट कैटेगरी रिब्यूटेबल एंड इरिब्यूटेबल प्रजाम्शन पे जा सकते हैं वॉट इज रिब्यूटेबल प्रजाम्शन Rebutable legal presumption is what is we have discussed in shall presume, and what is irrebutable presumption that is of law only that we have discussed under the heading of conclusive proof. Then you can come to the main part of the answer presumption as to documents, and this is containing so many sections, more than ten. So you have to be very specific in this, and this is what is the. 50 percent weightage of your answer should be to this, and 50 percent to what is the. presumptions because your question is like that it is consisting of two questions inherent so aapko aapka answer bhi usi prakar se plan karna hoga plan your answers whenever you are writing 
now in this you can include documents now or you can include all those important sections that are talking about presumptions as to documents which are old presumption as to electronic records bhi aap add kar sakte ho then you can add 5 years old hai to electronic record all these things you are expected to include that and these points genuineness of the certified copies so that is also a presumption which law has given and presumption as to documents is not a conclusive proof until contrary is proved this is an important point here so ye sare points agar aap aap note down kar sakte hain is video ko stop karke and you can elaborate them further in your answers if you are having this flow in your answers definitely you can form very nice answers and i would suggest everybody to start practicing aap is question pe bhi answers frame karke अपना एनालिसिस कर सकते हैं दैट वॉट ऑल पॉइंट्स यू कैन मिस यू हैव मिसड आउट एंड देन यू कैन कम बैक टू दिस वीडियो एंड चेक वॉट ऑल थिंग्स हैव बीन डिस्कस इन द वीडियो दिस विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू ऑल अलॉट इन प्रैक्टिसिंग क्वेश्चन एंड डेवलपिंग योर स्किल्स ऑफ राइटिंग द डिस्क्रिप्टिव आंसर्स सो डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब लीगल बी स्टे ट्यून फॉर ऑल द वीडियोज एंड प्रिपेयर फिफ्टी परसेंट फास्ट अविदास एट आई एग्जाम बी थैंक यू एवरीबडी